this! <laughs> Time to get up. Get out of bed. <clears throat> what a good looking morning. What a good looking banana. It's a Siamese twin banana. That looks delicious. All right. As much as I enjoy staying in the suburbs of Chiang Mai, the drive into town does get a little tedious, but thanks to Uber, there is an affordable, comfortable way to get into town each day. So it's a mixed bag. You get to be away from the hustle and bustle of the city, but you know, you pay the price. And speaking of hustle and bustle of the city, perhaps you would like to take a stroll with me down this random street here in Chiang Mai. Join me, shall you? Notice the lack of sidewalks. I'm not sure what the urban planners were thinking, if there were any urban planners, but it would be nice to not have to walk within millimeters of each car and moped zooming by and get hit in the arm by random car mirrors. But I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm on vacation. I'm, I'm not bitter at all. Instead, let me focus on the positive aspects of life. Just like this stuffed bear. Face down in the gutter, dirty with flies on its body. Nah, not bitter at all. No, things are looking up, actually. Because I have stumbled upon, and I'm not making this up, clothes dumpster. Yes, from me, the dumpster diving aficionado, I have found a store with the word dumpster in its name. So I couldn't be happier. This is awesome. This place is like a clearance house for clothing and shoes and accessories that have been shipped in on a boat from America. Because as I found out, it's very popular to have uh, secondhand clothing from the United States if you live in Thailand. It's a very uh, down-to-earth kind of store. There's no real building here, it's just a thrown-together tin roof with some tarps, dirt floors. I managed to pick myself up a brand new wardrobe. My ever-expanding suitcase thanks me. Check out this cool roadside fruit stand. Very healthy. Okay, so this was the find of the day. There's this makeshift barbecue restaurant. It was just a few tables and chairs thrown together. But the cooking here was fantastic. This was one of the best barbecue joints I've ever been to. The Bon Thai Resort. This place is where I will be spending the night tonight. As much as I loved where I was, and as relaxed as it made me feel, I just wanted to be a little bit closer into town. But we'll get more into the specifics of this hotel in tomorrow's episode. After taking a little break in my hotel room, it was nighttime. Which means... Yes, more shopping. It's either that or the bars, and I'm not really a big drinking man, so shopping it is. Fortunately, the night started out right with the singing policeman. How many times have you seen this? Oh, 
After seeing that, I was totally in the mood to get lost in this crowd. Let's take a stroll through this madhouse of shopping and random sweaty strangers pressing up against your body as you try to squeeze through the, the sea of faces of your fellow night market enthusiasts. Rats in a cage here. Hi. I love these birds. The best thing I saw at this night market wasn't even for sale. It's these adorable conures. Of course you know I love birds. I couldn't get enough of these little guys. I wanted to take them home with me. I don't know if Disneyland even has these anymore, but when I was a kid, they always had these little glass figurine shops all around Disneyland. It reminded me of my childhood. And the fact that Disneyland's admission price has gone up from a few bucks to uh, requiring a second mortgage. Here's a good idea for you crafters out there. Have an old worn out pair of jeans, turn them into a wallet. I ended up buying one of these leather wallets. Again, the vendor told me that he hand makes these, but as time went on, I found plenty more booths with the same items. So, the lesson here is don't believe a word these guys say. Everyone in Thailand is all about making money off of you, the ignorant tourist. Not that I'm bitter. Hand-stamped metal art. Check out some of this exotic food here in the food court. Grilled crocodile meat, anyone? How about ostrich or deer or scorpions? Mm, I think I'll pass. <laughs> that's so much like air. You're like, you like, that's the last time I see this. And the award for most interesting bathroom goes to this place. It's a thin, dimly lit pocket of space with open sewer lines. It smelled fantastic. I was ready to buy every sticker here until when I looked at them, they were printed out on somebody's home inkjet printer. I got my fake out of the woo Ray-Bans here. This was an epic find. Check out this assortment of metal rings. Now the vendor claims he hand makes these and they're original. I don't know. But I liked him, so I bought a few. Sue me for copyright infringement. And as the night draws to an end, so does this vlog. I'll end today's episode with these cute, adorable sun conures. But I do thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. Believe it or not, 
I love hearing from you guys. Say something. Good, bad, ugly. Do it! Do it now! As the great Alfred Hitchcock would say, Good evening.